Right now we are sitting down with Ugo Laviana Molina. He is a professor of endocrinology at the Universidad Marista de Merida. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. You study artificial sweeteners, including aspartame, and I know there's been a lot of talk about the potential link with cancer and aspartame. There's been a lot of research going on for many years, and there's some conflicting information that you can find. So tell me a little bit about that. The confusion is that last summer, two bodies of the WHO released a declaration about aspartame car carcinogenesis. And one of the bodies, that is the JECFA, the Joint Committee for Additives, uh, declared that there is no change in the safety, general utilization of this uh, food additive in beverages and in food. But at the same time, a committee of research of cancer of the WHO released a declaration that classified aspartame as a possible carcinogen. Because some studies uh, with limited confidence shows that uh, there is some linkage with liver cancer. My personal opinion is that these studies, mostly the epidemiologic studies, are not well substantiated and there are subjectivity in the evaluation of the quality of the evidence and this was taken in account by the uh, JECFA uh, committee to declare that we can still use safely aspartame as we have been using it in the last four or five decades. So it sounds like we haven't necessarily reached a definite conclusion on whether aspartame can cause cancer. Yes. So I assume that means more research is needed. Where is that research headed next? The need is to have better instruments to evaluate the, the evidence, to classify the evidence, and uh, there are some uh, gaps of research that have to be filled, especially in, in the human area, because it comes from obs observational evidence. These are epidemiologic studies, and these epidemiologic studies high, has high risk of bias. So what we need is more direct human studies, what we call randomized control studies, to see if cancer is really a potential uh, hazard in humans. The situation now is that we can consume safely this additive and the food and beverage that contain it. So you feel like we can safely use that sweet? Yes, that is the declaration of the JECFA uh, committee that is in charge of the additives of human consumption in food and beverages. Anytime it's a food that can potentially cause cancer, people pay attention. So it's interesting yes. to get some clarification. Yes. Thank you so much, Hugo. We appreciate your time. Thank you.